Remember that time when you made chapche and then you buried the rest of the noodles in the back of your pantry? Yes, I'm talking about me. Tangmyeon noodles is made from sweet potato starch. 0% fat, 0% sugar, zero across the board. As far as carbs, a minimal amount, I would say around 5% of your daily serving. With these noodles, today we're gonna do somewhere in between a stir fry and a stew. We're gonna have a little bit of broth, but we're gonna do a lot of stir frying. It's perfect for dinner. They'll usually come in these large bags at Korean Mart and it's up to 20 servings. So try making chapche first. That's the traditional iconic dish that you can make with this. Take about a handful. In one look, you can tell that it's super dry. We have to rehydrate this before we cook. If you put it straight into the frying pan, it's gonna turn really hard. It's gonna be like chewing on a steak with no teeth. But Daniel, can you show me exactly how much you're using? Yes, however much you can fit between your pinky and your middle finger. All right, rock on. Now we wanna soak this in cold water for at least 30 to 40 minutes. By the time we finish prepping and it's ready to put them in, it should be hydrated. Protein today, we're gonna to work with some chicken. I'm working with chicken thigh, skin on for more flavor, around 300 grams. We'll just cut these guys up into good bite-sized pieces. Just a little bit of salt, and then a little bit of black pepper for base seasoning. Give it a little toss up. All right, good. Now wash your hands, your knife, and swap out. Grab your little onion turtle, and we're going to cut this into thin pieces. We want half an onion, then some carrot just for visual. I'm gonna just cut up to the second length since I'm using the fat part of the carrot. If you're using the skinny model side, go up to this length. Julienne, in Korean we call it chesonda. Then some spring onion, two stalks, forearm length. All right, then we're gonna need some mushrooms. How much? About one large handful worth. You can use oyster mushrooms or any other local mushrooms. Just detangle some of these uh, pieces at the base. Wow, look how vibrant and nutritious this spinach looks. This is about a handful's worth as well. Let's just guillotine them straight down. And with spinach, there's always like dirt in between this. So I'm gonna give this a quick wash. Ooh, and these spinach pieces, they're pretty big. So I'm gonna give them cut in half. Nice spinach. And then the key flavor ingredient in this dish is this minced ginger. You can use some fresh. At the Korean market, they sell this minced ginger and these ice cube kind of things. It's very convenient. So I'm gonna pop one out. Now for this tangmyeon stew, we're gonna need two cups of water. Just one and two. From this, I want you to scoop out around a fourth cup of water. Okay, you don't have to be exact, but we're gonna use this later to prevent the soy sauce from burning. All right, neighbors, we're gonna start off with one tablespoon of sesame oil. Since we're using skin on thigh, there's gonna be a lot of oil that comes from that. If you're using chicken breast, then I would recommend using two tablespoons of sesame oil. Let's get this on a medium high. Let's add our chicken in now. Flip them over so that it's skin side down so that the natural oils from the chicken mixes in with that sesame oil. All right, then give it a few minutes so that chicken can turn nice and crispy on one side. All right, and after a few minutes, we can flip them around. Ooh, and you'll see a nice golden crisp on them. And now, the important step here, we're gonna add in one and a half tablespoons of sugar. All right, another half tablespoon in. And then immediately follow up with three tablespoons of soy sauce. And just one quick thing, when you add the soy sauce, try to add around the outer rim. That way it heats up as it enters the bowl, just adds a little bit deeper flavor. Give it a little mix around. And now we're gonna let this soy sauce reduce so that the chicken can really soak in all of that flavor. When you bite into this chicken later in this stew, it's gonna be so delicious. You see the sugar and the soy sauce are coming together. It's almost kind of looking like a caramel like that. Once it reaches this stage, fourth cup of water that we set aside, let's add that in now. And that water is gonna prevent the soy sauce from burning. Let's give it around one or two more minutes because the chicken is now cooking in this reduced broth and it's getting very, very flavorful. All right, and now look at those pieces. I think I could just eat this by itself. Time to add in the rest of the water. Let's wait till this comes back up to a boil. All right, guys, once it's boiling, let's add in all the vegetables, like the onions, followed by our mushrooms, and then our carrots, of course, and then our spring onions. Now, our key flavor variable, one teaspoon, not anymore, just a little bit, or else it'll overpower the broth. Mix that in to the broth here, as well as some fish sauce. This is gonna add the right amount of saltiness. Don't worry, that fishy smell is gonna evaporate away. A total of two tablespoons, number two. Mix that in. All right, that's a lot of vegetables, plus we're gonna add some more noodles. So add half tablespoon more of soy sauce, and this is like the perfect ratio of ingredients. I've tested this multiple times, and trust me, this is the exact ratio you want. Now that it's boiling away, it's time to add in 
our soaking noodles. You better not dump in this water or else I'm gonna come over and kick you in the butt. We just wanna get the noodles only. Yeah. Use a pair of chopsticks and get the little guys hanging over the edge before they uh, burn and ruin the taste. I've done that a few times with spaghetti when I was younger. And now when you're looking through video, you'll be like, wow, Daniel, that's a lot of water. These noodles, they're gonna soak in a lot of that delicious broth that we made, right? We got all the natural flavors from the vegetables, the crazy deliciousness from the chicken in the first part, and now these boys are gonna soak it all in. Now one thing, with soup, when it's really hot, especially at Korean soups and stews, when you taste this, you're gonna be like, mmm, ah, I don't know what this tastes like, it tastes off. But when the soup calms down, all the flavors and all the molecules are not bouncing off each other, you're gonna be like, wow, this is an amazing taste. But don't judge it off the taste of this now. Trust me, with soups and stews, give it some time to cool down. Then we're gonna drop in our spinach. It looks crazy, right? Don't worry, you can just wait till this comes up. And just like that, it disappears, y'all. Give it around two minutes to cook away. We want that fish sauce to completely dissipate. And now after a few minutes, you can continue to cook in your wok or frying pan. But I have a Korean clay pot. It just makes it look nice. So I'm gonna transfer it over, voila. Now what brings this whole dish together, drop in one egg onto the broth in the middle. Just like that, guys. We can drop a lid on it just for a little bit, about 30 seconds. We don't want the egg to cook completely through. Lift it up. All we gotta do now is we're gonna just mix this egg in. We'll pour some of our noodles. Then you see all the chicken and stuff in there. Very nice. Put it to one side. And then of course, grab some of this broth. All right, wow. Now one thing, these noodles will soak in a lot of that broth, so you have to move quickly. And just like a curry, we have the eggs mixed in into the broth. And the stew, we definitely wanna eat with some rice on the side that right on top. Oh my goodness. Yes, got some spinach, our delicious chicken piece. Look how juicy that looks. And then of course some mushrooms. <laughs> you can of course bless it with some of the juice. And Bob's your uncle. Dig in. Wow. That's simply amazing. The texture of these noodles are so fun to eat. The seasoning is on point. The broth is so good. Guys, this is so hearty. Why am I putting my chopsticks down? I got more to go. <laughs> um, but yes. Tangmyeon noodles, vermicelli noodles, chapcha noodles, whatever you call it, I want you to try it in this stew. It's absolutely delicious. A few days ago, we had our first proper snowfall in Korea and uh, it started to feel a lot like Christmas. Have yourself a Merry Christmas. First snow of the year.